happy to be joined now by Corinne Woods, Director of Communications, Advocacy and Marketing for the World Food Program, and Cheryl Wannell, CEO of Sawa, Global Cinema Advertising Association. This session is under the title, Feed Our Future, Reimagine Human Potential. So let's start with the importance of partnerships because this is something that's, that's vital for businesses and for social impact. And people talk a lot about it, but they don't necessarily get into the depths of how to form a deep, long-lasting partnership. Um, how do we revitalize partnerships um, so that they're beneficial for the sustainable development goals? Thanks, it's a lot yes. to handle. Yes, I know it's a lot to handle, and we'll sort of work out. I think the core of it is, for the UN World Food Program, it's having partnerships which are deep and committed and multi-year. Often people come and say they want to do something. That's wonderful. But saying you want to do something and actually doing something and really committing and listening to what the challenges are that we see and then delivering on them is something that is absolutely key. And what we see with the partnership that we've had with Thorwa and the cinema world is you have committed, you've committed multi-year and now you're committing to a campaign that will make a difference to millions of people worldwide. You've got so many different players when we're talking about cross-collaboration and different partnerships across sectors. How can governments, the private sector, and civil society come together in a better way? Well, I think, I don't know. I mean, let's just talk about what we're doing with this campaign and where we're yeah. going with this campaign. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, do you want to? Yeah, I mean, I guess the cinema medium in 2015 when the SDGs were initially launched, we kind of met a guy called Richard Curtis and put him together with a, a famous legend ad man called Sir John Hegarty and made a great commercial called We Have a Plan, which was about animals in the General Assembly instead of uh, heads of state. And I guess we looked at that cinema was a great medium that could get the message out there and change hearts and minds. I mean, our core audience is millennials, they're very hard to reach. And we thought that our medium could do something to make a difference. And we've had a now a four year a relationship with initially with Project Everyone, now direct with uh, the World Food Program, and you know it's a, it's it's good for us. It's good for you know the the people out there that need the help, and it's good for the UN and the World Food Program for us all to work together to try to, you know, influence yeah. and and mobilise people to do something. Uh, and yeah. I think maybe at the core of it is what you know is every time a child dies, every time a child is malnourished. The potential of that child is lost, and the potential of that country is lost. So that's where, you know, for governments, they don't want their GDP to be reduced. Any community mm -hmm. wants its children to unleash their potential. So that idea of unleashing potential, every time we fail to get the right nutritious food to a child, we fail to actually unleash their potential. And that's the core of what we're saying. And we're also calling out to people and saying, you can help. You can help us reach those 125 million people who go to bed hungry every night. That leads me to my next question. So are there ways in which the World Food Program and your campaign is sharing resources, knowledge, and really mobilizing people to understand this and take action? We certainly are. I yeah. mean, um, we're, we're, this campaign launched uh, last night um, in 35 countries around the world on cinema, um, which is a great medium for impact and, and power because you don't have a lot of distraction. It has six times the recall of television. So storytelling, right? Yeah, it's storytelling. It's about narrative. And we were fortunate with John Hegarty, again, who made this campaign this year, that he understands the SDGs. He's worked on it now for, for quite a while. And he understands the importance to be able to, to create an ad that is actually going to not be a depressing ad or not be one that's going to make people turn off, but an ad that's going to inspire people to to probably educate them to understand that there's issues out there. And I guess our job in cinema this year is to make the World Food Program famous. I mean, it was, you know, you really do deal, have up-to-date deal with a lot of governments. This is your first real branding mm -hmm. awareness campaign. But we've also been fortunate that Facebook have uh, come on board with the cinema medium. So at the end of the campaign, you're actually able to talk to Miriam, who's the star in the ad, and uh, it's a bot built into Messenger, so you can actually interact in the cinema and actually talk to her and find out more information, watch the ad again when you leave the cinema. So even though we're a very powerful brand medium, um, we need that call to action after they've seen a movie to actually do something about yeah. it. That's really gorgeous, the elements of bringing really elegantly cinema and tech 
I used the, you said the magic word bot, which to me mm -hmm. <laughs> automatically goes to AI and technology. So with so much going on in, in the, with the convergence of branding and with causes, we're seeing more of this in marketing and PR campaigns. Do you think this is going to continue? And if so, how can, how can the public ensure that it's, or, or know if something is authentic and organic and know that they can trust it? Well, I think it comes down to the creativity of the ad. I mean, if, when you actually see this ad and, you know, you need to go to, to a cinema around the world in one of these major countries and, and actually experience it. But it all comes down to how good the creative is and, and whether people actually turn on to the ad or turn off to the ad. And this is a very powerful ad. But, you know, there's something else I think. I also think that there's a piece about, as the UN, we have expertise. We know how to reach people, 93 million people a year, feeding them. But you guys know about the cinema medium so yeah. when the cinema people say this will work in cinema or when our Facebook friends say this will work on Facebook we have to trust their expertise and so I think it's a certain amount that partnership piece is about trust and trust that you trust us that we know how to frame our issues and what we want to say but you also know how best to work the mediums and to reach people and then that's going to be important. So this trust question sits at the very centre of a partnership that works. And I think you also need disruption. I think that's a really important <coughs> part of advertising today that uh, you need that disruption and people to be aware of actually what's going on. And you know that's the whole job of the yeah. campaign. And, and actually when you think about technology, we're using technology, we're using AI, we're using drones, we're using blockchain really to reach people deep, the furthest behind. But what we want to also do is use it in our marketing to also reach people who care and want to be involved. So joining those two worlds and giving a convergence so actually there's a conversation that's going on. And we are very, very open to wanting to explore the potential of how the digital disruption can bring about not just to build a brand, but to build a brand because it's going to reach the people that the SDGs is all about those furthest behind. The 125 million people who go to bed hungry every day and the people who work for the World Food Programme who are sitting in Yemen today trying to get food to those 8 million people who are on the edge of starvation. That's really what it's about. But it's about trusting your partners to bring something very, very special that we don't have sitting in our organisation, but you have. Yeah, and I think too, for the cinema medium to have the DNA of good and purpose through our global network is important to us. Um, we're probably, and now Facebook have engaged with us, but we're probably only the real serious medium that stood up for the SDGs. We've done a lot of can lines promoting and launching ads uh, to the creative world. But I think it's really important that other mediums step up and do something about this as well. It, even though that we have that, you know, that great impact and when you see an ad on cinema, you're going to remember it more. It's interesting, I woke up this morning and, and saw an email from the World Food Program that a 17-year-old daughter of one of the executives at uh, the World Food Programme saw the ad in Morecambe in North England uh, last night and wrote to her dad and said, I just saw this amazing ad about the World Food Programme, obviously didn't know about it. And, uh, and that's, that was really a, a great inspiration for me when I saw that email, email this morning that, you know, the other side of the world that people are already seeing the ad and you know, mm -hmm. so closely connected with someone from the World Food Program. And how much at this stage is your reach with all the technology and the media, is it driving people to actually take action? Yeah. You see? What the, the branding ad, uh, the cinema ad itself, the, the John Hegarty part of it, is to make the World Food Program famous so that people know who they are because at the moment, unfortunately, they don't know who they are. And we need the consumers out there in the world to understand, especially millennials who can make change, who are socially um, aware, who are educated people, and that's our core audience. And they're very hard to reach. And they're the people, to me, that I believe that will be able to facilitate change in the future for the planet. So. But that's a simple thing. We ask everybody, and if I had a mobile phone on my hand, I would be holding it up like this, which is an app, Share the Meal. It's a very simple app that connects people with people to be able to share a financial contribution but also know what with that financial contribution those people are buying so i i gave um a, a, a monthly amount and every month i get information about what the person um, and the people are buying in terms of the supermarkets now you know you know that through the some of the biometrics and some of the information we have on the other side of tech so the share the meal app downloading and taking action that's one thing we're asking everybody to do mm. because the bottom line is we have two billion dollars shortfall to be able to reach the 125 million people two billion dollars that we have got to somehow get to be able to make sure 
mothers don't put their children to bed hungry in some of the countries in which we work. Mm -hmm. So there's, you're using a lot of that data for good. We're using a lot of the data for good. And you know, we're also making sure that we really have a very clear sense who we're looking at. You know, we're using some of the drone technology and some of the mobile phone technology to know who are the people and where are they who are the most in need. So we're using that technology, but we're also using similar technology for the bots to be mm. able to actually talk to people who care. And our, our, our request out there is everybody can do something. You can give through the Share the Meal, but we're also really interested in hearing about people's creativity. You know, the creativity that comes from someone like Cheryl that's fantastic. Yeah. So come and join us. Yes, we're here to create. We're, we're born to, to create. create. We're, we're all born to create. We're all born to collaborate. We can use technology to help keep us inspired and empowered. Right. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for this. This is really inspiring. I'm so happy to see you again. And thank you, Cheryl. It was lovely meeting you.